This tutorial is going to be walking through the steps on installing GNOME 3 on Ubuntu 12.04. So a lot of people don't like the default Unity interface, and uh, GNOME 3 provides an alternative and more classic look while still retaining some more advanced uh, visual features. So in order to install GNOME 3, you're going to first need to add um, a new repository and we can do that via the terminal. Now, um, Ubuntu does support doing something along the lines of sudo apt-get install gnome, but um, from what I've been reading, that is out of date, and it won't actually update you to the latest gnome 3. So that being said, um, we're going to do sudo apt-get, and then we're going to do I'm sorry, we're going to do sudo add apt repository. I'm going to do a ppa gnome 3 team slash gnome 3. And then it's going to ask you for your root password. And you need to press enter to support. Alright, that being done, we're going to do a sudo app get update in order to push these changes. And depending on whether or not you've done that recently, it may take a long time or a couple seconds. And then we're going to do sudo app get install gnome shell. And then it's going to prompt with the amount of uh, disk space that it's going to use. And you can press yes to confirm. And now it's going to go through its downloading process. And you can fast forward a couple seconds here in the video if you want to skip through this. Alright, now that that's been done, we're going to do a sudo shutdown now r to reboot the system in order for our changes to take effect. Alright, now when the uh, new option comes up, or when the login screen appears, you'll see a new um, addition to the menu when you click the little Ubuntu icon here. You'll now have GNOME, GNOME Classic, and GNOME Classic No Effects. If you select GNOME when you log into your account, you'll notice that Unity is gone, and the default GNOME shell is here. Now if you want to uh, enable the new advanced GNOME 3 features, and you need to make sure that your hardware is up to speed and can support that. So if we go into uh, system settings and then we go to additional drivers, if you're running on a, an ATI or um, NVIDIA system, you will probably be prompted here with additional drivers that you can then download and install. And once you do that, you'll be able to enable the advanced GNOME 3 effects. But this way, uh, you're back to the default GNOME shell that was from uh, Ubuntu 10 and earlier. So uh, be sure to check out my next video, which is how to completely remove Unity from your system. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this, be sure to comment under the video and I'll try to help you out.